let me tell you what was in my binders. First of all, no, no. Let me tell you about my decks. <clears throat> Kevin Wilcox will attest to this. Every time I got a card, if it even got a slight nick on it, I'd go trade it in. My cards were pristine of pristine condition, even in decks, because I always use deck protectors and the, the deck protector boxes. Okay? Five, five thousand count boxes with nothing but decks. I had vintage, I had legacy, I had um, modern, and I had standard decks. This one deck that I had built was called One Trick Pony. Kevin Wilcox named it One Trick Pony. You know why? It goes, I own a great on turn one. Turn one? Um, swamp. Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Raven's Crime, one black, discard a card, target player. Discard I own of the graveyard, red return, two black, two colorless, return target creature from your graveyard to play. I own 7-7, seven, seven, flying, when it comes in play, name a color, chosen color, cannot be played for the remainder of the game. Deck was designed to build up until it hit its second Iona, and boom, both their colors are now, and they scoop. Meanwhile, I'm beating them in the face for seven. And uh, then I had Countertop Goyf built. I had Squirrel Prison built. I had Astro Slide built. The only thing missing in my Astro Slide deck were the four Exalted Angels. So instead, I used Blistering Firecats. Morph it. Psycho Slice and I slide it out. Slide it in seven to the dome. It went on turn, it went on turn like four or five. I don't know, I got bored with it, so I sold it. I build the deck, I get bored, I sell it. And then I realized what all I had. Dude, I had the Psychosis Crawler deck. And it had, um, uh, the Embryo, the Embryo card. Where you fucking, um, it ran to Fairy's Puzzle Box and Underworld Dreams. And then it ran... Psychosis Crawler with, um, with, uh, Cerebral Vortex. Okay, so you're drawing cards, and as you're drawing them, they lose double the life, you only lose one life. So you draw it into a sick ton of cards. I had a Swan's deck built. Swan's up by an aggro, Seismic Assault, Countryside Crusher. I had the Treasure Trove Zombie Infestation built with Spellbook. Then everybody and their mother to use in Spellbook. I had Rings of Bright Hearth with Planeswalker's control. People were then were playing that, so it got boring for me. So then I built Jun Ram. I had the Broodmade Dragons. I had everything for Jun Ram, including the Reflecting Pools. Dude, I had like 8 to 12 Reflecting Pools. 16 Foil Textless Cryptic Commands. Fucking 4 Foil Textless Wrath of Gods. From Player Rewards. Like, I traded for my, uh, cryptic commands that were foil Texas. But I was trying to hold on to them. Kel kept getting me to sell them. And Donald Nexon was ripping me off left and, uh, 50 cents for a demonic tutor from Revised. Holy shit, that card's worth over 250 bucks right now. Yeah, give me back my collection. I sold, like, 20 fucking demonic tutors to him over the years that were out of Revised. Get him to make amends. Northwest Sports Cards on 6th. And uh, New York Tacoma Boys in downtown Tacoma, Washington. Somebody call him up, say return her collection or we prosecute you. Dude, bracket chewing. $700 on a $900,000 collection. I had 140,000 cards. I thought it was only 120. No, it was 140,000. Uh, 38 2 inch thick binders, 200 pages, 8 cards in each page. I'll tell you exactly how much it was. Okay? This way I'm getting the correct figure right. Or around there because the 5,000 count boxes with the de with the cheap little $1.99 deck boxes. And I had them flooded in all 5 boxes. Like uh, 15 decks in a row in each column. 
So we will do the math. Calculator. Okay. 38 times 200 times 38 times 200 times 8. Okay. It's actually 60,800. I was way off. But then we times it. Oh no, but then 60,000. Okay, so then we're going to add, you know, 60,800. Remember that. 60,800. 5,000 times 5. So we got to add on another 25,000 to uh, 60,000. Uh, what did I say? 60,800 cards? 85,800 cards. How much I had. Okay? What it took me a um, year. It took me a fucking year to sort through all my cards. Bill Giddens, Victor Santos, Betty Bill will tell you. Fuck, she had magic cards all over the place. He wanted me to pick up the mess. Okay? Then he's still in my pentagram rug remnant. Dude, I paid 180 bucks for that carpet remnant. He stole my atome that was an Egyptian gold atome that wasn't sharp. It was completely rounded on it. That thing cost me 45 fucking dollars. Mystic Wonders. So then businesses start closing down. You wonder why a new business opening and then closing to me? Because I sell something to them and they're like, oh shit. A closing word and cotton closing too. So then they close down. My favorite shops like Mr. Wonders, Crescent Moon Gifts, close down. Crescent Moon Gifts don't want them to be known. Look up Crescent Moon Gifts on Google. Med Metaphysical stores in Tacoma, Washington. It will not list Crescent Moon Gifts. You know why? They did dirty to me. They knew I was underage my child. They could pick up on it. So they gave me a tourmaline stone. Letting me live homeless. She knows better, that tarot reader, and she knows she was supposed to call up the feds or something and get me into identification relocation program or get them to move me back in with my hero or better Jennifer Banco and her husband. Jennifer Banco and Soliano. Okay. The cheapest card that I had was yeah, it was Alabaster Potion, and I had eight of them. Four more of eyes. That was the cheapest card. That card's a dollar. Dude, I had unhinged and unglued lands. I had like 50 fucking of each land. Because of how much unglued and unhinged I traded for. Demonic Tutors from Revise. Bay the Wrath of God and it got offered five dollars on two hundred dollar card. Yeah, and then he's offering kids two dollars on a glimpse of the unthinkable that's worth twenty. Kids, he's doing that too. Alex Seinfeld, content tell me. Why did you sell your collection? What? I had this awesome land destruction deck built. Alex helped me build it. He's awesome. He made me Mono green aggro elves. I didn't like that deck. So he goes, okay, let's sum through your cards. He was one of my best friends. Kel broke that friendship up. He was the only friend I had that would come over and visit me every day. So it was more like a job for him. So he didn't want to hang out with me anymore. Because he thinks that it's still going to be a job. When in fact it's going to be, hey, when's the next time you have some free time? I was like, no, get over here today. So I was showing disrespect. So my cousin, Alex Seinfeld. Yes, he's my cousin. I'm part Jewish. My cousin, Alex Seinfeld, he felt bad for me. My cousin, Brother Blaine Rebecca. I need no truth. Name. Yes, my blood, my blood brother, Blaine Rabaki. 
He's got orange, reddish hair. Okay. He was telling me put him, he was gonna put me on first in Aurora. Make him some money. <laughs> uh, he was making me laugh. Because he knew I never laughed. Okay. He was the one that introduced me to my to our grandpa Marilyn Manson. Uh this is Halloween. Knowing it was my favorite time of year. Thank you, Blaine. Blaine is from a movie called Dave. <laughs> he had mental he had brain damage and shit. <laughs> he uh he died in the movie. Malik, will you please come cover me? <laughs> Blaine was going to kick me for bitter blossoms if I could pay him. He was just gonna buy him and have me on payment plans. <laughs> Bitter Blossoms were 40 bucks a piece. I sold mine when they were only 15. <laughs> Blade felt bad. Blade wanted to hook me up with blue black berries. <laughs> Blade, will you please get all my magic cards back for me from Dawn? <laughs> I'll do a tax to you. I'll do a tithing tax to you. You get half the collection. All I want is the blue black fairy stack, the black white clerk stack. And a, and a few binders. You and me, Jennifer Bingo Mom. We open up a card shop, Miss Holy Erna. Please get my collection back to me today. Halloween is just right around the corner. You get my collection black back to me today. Get me in stabilized housing with parents. Sure, you got it. I'll quit smoking when I can. Doesn't mean two years down the road I quit. No, that means like within the first 30 days. But you give me a vape pen with zero milligrams nicotine flavor. And we still get to vape. There's no nicotine. I can buy vape juice that is an underage minor child. I'm not allowed to buy cigarettes. Quite, I'll try to quit smoking through the vape. Line this up. You line this up for me. Put me in a calm environment. Blaine, will you move me in with you and Ali? Will you please? You will look after me. You will protect me. You'll make sure I'm going to Pro Tour qualifiers, Pro Tours, Grand Prix. You'll do what it takes. I already know you already did what it takes, Blaine, to prove that you were my brother. You're my big brother. Blaine lands smackdown on Donald Nutson. Dude, he got you for cards, too. Get Jeff Stevens to fucking file a claim against Donald Nutson. Let's get him out of that card shop to where he goes, you guys, fuck it, you guys own it. Okay, let's get him to do that today. I'm ready to work. I already got my uniform. Okay, Blaine. I've already got my fucking uniform. Okay. And I look very professional. Okay. Get him to give us that card shop today. Okay. You mean Jeff Stevens, the bass player for Benny? Oh, dude, I'd love to work side by side with him. <laughs> was a good movie. I'm really sorry you lost your life in the movie plane. <laughs> You're my most cherished brother. Chef Steven, you were that. He earned it over you with with Dave. <laughs> Proving what my mental condition is eventually gonna do to me. He earned that movie. He earned his spot as my favorite brother. You're my second favorite brother. 
Jay is my third favorite brother. Spencer is my fourth favorite brother. brother. Kevin Wilcox, thank you for saying your dad had that. Through for your baby niece, your baby sister, your baby daughter. Come through for me, please.